Notice you can see the light that I've got shining on the spoon. Yeah, you can. But not in the water. No, okay. you can't. Now I'd like you to add some powdered milk, about uh, half a teaspoon or so. Okay, sure. Okay, and then stir it up. See any difference? Well, yeah. You can s one, the water is cloudy, mm -hmm. and then you can also see the light in the yeah, water. You can now see the light beam very easily. That's because you made a colloid. Have you ever heard of a colloid? No, I haven't. C O L L O I D. Well, let me see if I can explain it. You know about a solution? Yeah. Okay. What is a solution? Well, a solution is where two products are mixed together to make one other product. One, right. And in that case, it usually means that molecules of one material are, are go all the way through another material. And we're using this marble to represent that kind of a molecule. Okay. okay. Now, you know about a mixture. Yeah. What is a mixture? Oh, a mixture is just two things mixed together. Right. And they can separate or they, they could mix. Right. In this case, we'll let that ball represent like a grain of sand. If you mix sand and water, the sand all yeah. sinks to the bottom. Well, there's a whole bunch of particles that are in between that, and they're called colloidal particles. Okay. And they stay suspended. They don't sink to the bottom like sand, and they don't dissolve like a, the, like a solution. In fact, that's what you made, you see it? Okay. You made a colloidal suspension of a solid okay. in a liquid. Oh, okay. okay. Now you can also yeah. have a liquid suspended in a liquid. In fact, here's an example right here. Here's water. Let okay. that represent vinegar. Okay. And here is salad oil. You mix vinegar and oil together to make a salad dressing, right? Yeah, the vinegar. Pour a oil bunch of vinegar. vinegar in there. Okay. About that much? Okay, that's good enough. Just so you see that it all comes to the top, right? Yep, except some of the stuff that's stuck along the oh, wall here okay. and then the bottom. Then, now we'll add powdered mustard because the little tiny particles of them, I'll add more than you would if you were making salad dressing. Yeah. Now put the top on and shake it up. Okay. Okay. See the difference? Well, yeah, there's foam on the top and the, yellow, and the water seems to be like a yellow murky. Yeah, it's all cloudy because we now made a suspension of the oil, little tiny globules of oil connect, connected to one of the little uh, pieces of uh, mustard. Okay. And they stay suspended. Oh, neat. Okay, here's another example. Oil and water, not supposed to mix, right? Well, no, there's, not that I know of. There's oil, motor oil. Okay. Put some of that in there just like you did before. Okay, sure. About the same amount? About the same amount, right. Okay. This time, put the top on and shake it up first. Okay, sure. Okay, it looks like it might be a colloidal suspension because it's yeah, sort of it cloudy. But, and you've broken up the oil into little tiny droplets, but look what's yeah, happening. You can see to them. Yeah, they're, they're all floating to the they're top. They're going to float to the top. And eventually, it would all get up there. How do you get rid of oil when you wash your hands? Well, you use warm water and soap. And soap. And the soap makes a colloidal suspension out of the oil. Okay. Here's some soap. Put it on there mm. and shake it up just like you did Alrighty. before. A little more is that enough? That's OK. OK. There you made a colloidal suspension of the oil in water. And if, it, if some of it comes up, it need, means you need to add more soap. Oh, probably like this, the foam, then the oil, yeah. and then right. it looks like it's clearing okay, up so the no, bottom. This is an example of a liquid okay. in suspension in a liquid. Now we need a gas yes. suspended in a liquid. OK. Go to the refrigerator, and on the bottom shelf, you'll find some stuff. Bring one of them up. OK, sure. Recognize that? Oh, well, yeah. It's... You know what to do with it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Shake it up. And this time, release the entire contents of the whipping cream in the glass. Okay. Because this is an example of a colloid called a foam. Okay. Well, should okay. I finish That's anything? the end of it? No, there's a little bit more. Okay. Not much. Okay, that's, that's, it. that's one kind of foam, which is edible, I assume. Do you want to try it? 
I sure. cleaned out the glass so we could have. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. That's your last taste because here is another example of a different kind of foam. Okay. You know what it is? No, shaving I Shaving cream. Oh, okay. Okay, try, see if you can go all the way around with the shaving cream. All the way, like around yeah, it? Yeah, all the way around it. Down below. Oh, down below? Down here. below, yeah, because you're going to fill it all up. Geez, it looks almost better to eat than the whipped cream Doesn't does. Doesn't it, though? Looks so foamy and good. Right. Now, there's an example, however. Uh, keep going, just get, keep see going. if you can empty the whole thing. An example of uh, gas suspended in a liquid, which scientists call a foam. I don't know if you've ever emptied a whole can of <laughs> no, shaving cream before, but keep going. Because it's a good example of that whole class of substances which we call colloids. 